I'm Neil Costigan, um, uh, Costigan as he, he would put in Irish accent, and I'm uh, the CEO of Behaviorsec. Uh, we're a Scandinavian, a Swedish IT and mobile firm, uh, so hence the Irish accent. Uh, and we do, as I said, IT security, mobile security, and generally targeted at financial institutions uh, like ones you represent. Um, and what we do is behavioral biometrics. And um, biometrics are a great buzzword that are running around at the moment, uh, given some news that went out in the last few days. But what we do is we, we use the behavior, how a person interacts with their, uh, their website, their device, their desktop, um, uh, to determine if this person is who they say they are. And if they're not, maybe who is it? We can, we can go and uh, figure out who it could possibly be. And what we mean by behavior is that we, we monitor the keystroke typing, the rhythm, the sequences, the speed the person types, essentially the rhythm of what they're doing. Not actually what they're typing. We're not looking at the, the actual things they're saying, but how they're saying it. And also in mobile, we, we do this by tracking how a person moves across the screen, their gesture, the pressure they use the screen on, how fast they move from between a couple of points. And indeed, we do the same on a desktop with the mouse movements and the applications that are open. All these things are mixed together to determine a user's behavior. And we try and do this transparently. The whole experience is supposed to be completely transparent to the end user. And so the security is about usability. It's about the balance of, of uh, how the consumer feels working on a, an internet site on their bank. And what I have for you just to show this off is yet another fake bank that you may have seen many of today. Uh, but if I go ahead and make a, uh, a, a transfer between two accounts, Standard stuff, web forms, not just the security of the login and the time the person comes in, but actually, um, you know, everything they're doing, all the data they're putting through, all the pages they go through, new account transfers, new, new, um, uh, uh, new funds addresses, that kind of stuff. Um, and the end user wouldn't see what you're seeing on the screen now, because transparently, when I was typing, we were catching that rhythm. And in the back end of the bank, we were looking at uh, what was going on. And what you would see, or the, the bank security officer would see if needed, would be a view like this. And indeed, they're looking at the transactions historically. And there's me uh, and what I've done and my transfers over the last while, which is earlier today, obviously. Um, and you can see all that kind of stuff. So the end user doesn't see it. We believe the end user should only see it when they've done something wrong or, or if it's an attacker. So the experience is, 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 is very, very quiet. Now that's fine, uh, and, and we, we launched this, and some of you might have seen us in, in San Francisco last year where we presented this technology and on mobile, uh, and we won the best in show with it. And, and thanks for anybody who was there who voted for us for that. And since then, we've, we've been very successful in getting this to market. Uh, we have all the banks in Scandinavia using it. Uh, we've, we've set up in the UK, and we've uh, a number of successes there. And one of the things and one of the lessons we learned in deploying the technology was how is this used in practice? What does the, uh, what does the bank, the security officer, need to actually see? Yeah. And one of the problems was is, um, is the, the question of what do you do with this new technology uh, and how do you merge it and integrate it? And so the lesson we learned was about uh, policies and actions. And if you look at the dashboard, the kind of view the administrators of the fraud, the security people, the anti-fraud people see, uh, we give an overview, a dashboard, whatever, and sorry to the, uh, to the Finnovate people, but in our world, the, uh, the top left or the, the northwest uh, is actually the bad place. That's when we believe things are very, very wrong. And the, um, the northeast is actually where good things happen. And we, we're very confident in the user and that kind of thing. But actually what we're looking at here on my, my settings is the, uh, the policy templates, the actions. And basically, if we get a high score for people, we can do a green or a good one. And the, the actions, and your, your IT nerds, your system integrators would be more concerned about this kind of uh, action and policy, they're actually triggers. It, it, it calls up a legacy the system or the back end and tells it what to do if, uh, if the behavior is wrong. And likewise, if, the, if we're pretty sure the red zone here, we can call in the SWAT team if things go wrong. And so if I go back to my demo, do another transfer, and this is when I should have my beautiful assistant on stage to help me out here, but if I do a very exaggerated transfer slowly, a different typing rhythm. Uh, I'm obviously going to transfer a lot more money this time because it's an attack, and I will do it um, uh, today uh, and do the transfer. And what will happen is there's a problem. Our system detected that the behavior on the system was wrong, and it used the trigger from the policy system here to call in the SWAT team. And if I look at the, uh, the, the actual transaction in more detail, I'll just bang this in, um, and I view it, and I look in details, 
I'll see the transaction there, and you can see the part there. My, conf my score uh, dropped considerably, um, and we're pretty confident in that. And the system had a red flag, and in the details where the, the integrators would, would be looking at, we've got a policy action here, and we know exactly what to do. Go and call in the SWAT team. So that's what we've learned this year, this last year, uh, how to take this behavioral, this biometric, and in a transparent way in the back end, enable the security officers to go and do stuff that they're, they're used to doing. Uh, you know, abnormal behavior, do something about it. Normal behavior, the end user shouldn't see it. Of course, we do all this in mobile. The, the, uh, the devices, both Android, iPhone, Windows, um, are all great uh, biometric devices without extra hardware. You don't need the latest edition of the newest phone with uh, any, any special things on it. We can take the screens, the pressures, the swipe, the angles, the accelerometer as rich input for that behavior. So uh, that, that's about what we've got. We're showing it off in our demo booth. You can also go online, take our demos from the app stores or, or from our site, play with our fake bank. Well, we'd love to see you at the booth afterwards uh, to show off the technology. And of course, we'd love to see you vote for us in the uh, best of show. So thank you for your time today. Thank you.